Have I touched any of your nieces? Nieces or cousins before? Have I touched any of them? Did I ever tell you or anybody that I have sisters or nieces? Uh, because you don't have anybody. That's why we play with others, right? A girl named Rita came here yesterday looking for me. And I gathered you left with that girl. Eh? Don't worry. Where is she? Eh? So a girl can come to look for you? I never start. So a girl can look for you? You are pretending not this way. You don't, you don't, you don't do anything with girls. Look at you. Wait. Where is my sister? Where is she? Where is my sister? Come on, 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 come drinking alcohol this early? <laughs> you amaze me the way you talk at times. All these are part of the reasons your husband complains. A wife of a senior officer like you should learn to stand above others. And by raising above others means drinking alcohol this early? Madam Selena, I am not wired like that. Okay? I am more concerned about how to deal with, with that idiot. I need to teach him a lesson. How will you handle him if you did not give him what he wants? And then you can stand the chance of liquidating his business through him. Yes. <laughs> you really amaze me. This is not the Lady Selena I used to know. You want me to open myself for that idiot simply because I want to close a deal with that company? Hey, <laughs> come on, girl. Just some things you don't tell a married woman. Come on. Gosh. I want to believe you are not going to tell your husband about all this. A woman got to do what she is going to do in order to keep her business running. If you don't give him what he wants, how will you stand the chance of liquidating the company? Do you know what? If this is the kind of advice you give, Then I'm done. Excuse me. <laughs> if only she knew what her husband does with my girls, she would not be sounding like a nun before me. Hmm? Mm.
Gosto está do. Hello, sister. Good morning. Hello, good morning. I would have called you since yesterday, but there was no light, so I couldn't charge my phone. Don't worry about that, sister. It's the same general problem we have in this country. No light anywhere. But we are talking finally. Is there any problem? Yes, yes. Everything is all right. Please, have you seen my daughter, Rita? I gave her a note for you. I want you to give her a job. I don't want her staying at home anymore. Can you describe the girl? Sir, I have this feeling that you're doubting me. Mr. Gitman, please don't provoke me. I asked a very simple question and I want you to answer. Describe the girl. This girl is a very beautiful girl I came looking for you. I was about bringing her to your office before Mr. Onkwen came and hijacked her away. Okay, let me just ask you a very simple question. Since you started working in this company, has there ever been a time any girl came looking for me here? Sir, the first time will always come and it came today. You're a fool. That's why you can stand here talking this nonsense. Do you know what? Just get out of my face. I'm done with this. Leave. Sir, I'm sorry. But this girl mentioned your name. She called your name. Can't you understand that was the decoy they used? That was what they, that, that, just what they fabricated to dent my hard kept image in this company. Why can't you understand it? And the girl came looking for somebody and the person she came to see has taken her to wherever they want to go. I have no business with that. I am not a womanizer and I will never be one. Please, get out. I don't understand the meaning of this. What is going on? How am I supposed to know it was fabricated? Are you not there for something? Mm? Get out! Sorry, sir. What kind of nonsense is this? A woman has come looking for me suddenly. Can you hear me, Larry? Y yes, sister, I'm here. Did you just say you asked Rita to give me anything? Oh no, that's one thing I don't like about girls of nowadays, they are never serious. Hey sister, just calm down, okay? Just calm down, I will handle this. Okay, alright. Thank you. Bye-bye. Couldn't we? Rita was the stupid girl. So, as a matter of fact, are you telling me that you have not done anything stupid in the last couple of months to undermine the progress of the company? Oh, God, am I mad? How can I do a thing like that? I can swear if you want. I don't know why you join all these apprentices to castigate by name. 
am I am one hundred percent in support of the progress of this company. Trust me. All right. It's good to hear. There's this lady from Glasgow Group of Laboratories that I directed to you. Uh, did you discuss with her? Uh, you did very wonders. I sent her to me. I saw the file. And I went through the file. That file is a material for trash bucket. I don't understand. Yes, sir. What do you mean by it is only good for the trash bucket? It is, it, it lacks substance, sir. Yeah. Mr. Mungwe, okay. I read part of that proposal myself. I don't know what you're talking about. I read it. I'm beginning to think probably it's not the same uh, proposal she gave to me, the same one she gave to you. Because, or maybe you are reading with the eye of MD and glued into the profits only. But I read and interpreted that, that proposal, sir. And then I saw it as a material for trash bucket. You know what, sir? Let's forget about that proposal. It's, it's, it's not worth it. Trust me, sir. Trust me. Trust, trust me. Hey. Well, Getman, I am sorry the way I spoke to you yesterday. Sorry that I sent you out of my office. I felt insulted. And sincerely, if you were in my shoes, you would have behaved the same. I, I am here now because I want you to describe again now. Sir, I'm sorry. You know, yesterday, I wanted to give you the information free of charge. But you insulted me and chased me out of your office. But now that you need the same information, you have to give me a little money so I can buy soap and wash out the insult you heaped on me. Really? I'm sorry. This is enough to buy any soap. Can you start talking now? Let's the girl. Yes, sir. This girl is a very beautiful girl. Dark in complexion, average in height, and she gave her name as um, Rita. Yes, sir, it was just here, right here. I was about to bring her to your office before Mr. Pumpkin came out and took her away. And ever since then, I have not seen her again. Be a playboy, no doubt, but this game I know it. Just look at it. Look at benefit, just not up to one year. And this man is here insulting me. Oh, that's good. Have I touched any of your nieces? nieces or cousins before. Have I touched any of them? Did I ever tell you or anybody that I have sisters or nieces? Uh, because you don't have anybody. That's why we play with others, right? A girl named Rita came here yesterday looking for me. And I gathered you left with that girl. Eh? Don't worry. Where is she? Eh? So a girl can come to look for you. So a girl can look for you. You are pretending not this way. You don't, you don't, you don't do anything with girls. Look at you. Wait. Where is my sister? Where is she? Where is my sister? Come on, You think you will get away with this? It's your help. Don't worry, I'm done. 
one, all this one you're, you're doing what you are doing, you were pretending before. So you can look for a girl. <laughs> By the time I finish with that girl. Suspecting that someone is inside the house. I'm mm -hmm. thinking, yes, I'm thinking he's a woman. Because I heard her singing before. Okay. Yes. But now she's playing music. Maraga, you are standing as if you are no longer here. Ha! You don't know? You know what? Ha! Mr. Bonquem fired me. Why? I'm telling you, and I went back to Seme. Really? I'm telling you, I am actually here because I found out that he was the one that gave my wife 5,000 naira. 5,000 naira for what? In fact, uh, uh, Ogalari, he slept with my wife. I beg your pardon? I'm telling you. He did what? He did what I just said. He sent me out one night. Okay. Uh, that I should go uh, and buy him cigarette for cable. And I left. He called my wife, gave her 5,000 naira, and slept with her. This guy is cursed. This guy is terribly cursed. <laughs> is there a way I can see that woman inside? The woman inside? Yes. Do you know her? She's my niece. Are you serious? My sister's daughter that came looking for me yesterday. I don't know what my uncle told her at the gate. I don't know what happened. I don't know what he promised her. Took that girl since yesterday. I didn't know. If not that my sister called me some few hours ago, I wouldn't have known that she sent anybody to come and see me. Jesus. Is there a way you can help me? I want to see her. Is it possible, please? Mm. Okay. Okay. You know what? What? Wait here. Okay. No. Let me see what I can do. Let me see if I can jump into the compound then open the small gate from oh. inside. Yes, yes. I like it. Like the place you know so well. Yeah. <laughs> na, 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 na my place. Na, not me the walk yes. Please, please, please. Hey. This is this is so sad. I'm coming. Yes. What kind of nonsense? Why why is Rita so useless? Eh? What did he promise you? How can you follow a man since yesterday? Who does that?
Yes. Who are you on the own? Uh, I came from the company. Oga, give me this parcel. See what I give you. No, be, be Rita. Yes. <laughs> Come on, have your parcel. Okay. Okay, one minute. So you are a hawk. Is this what the private university you attended has, has turned you into? A hawk? It's all cool. I'm not a hawk. He collected all my money and made me stranded. <laughs> my clothes, my clothes. I wish my clothes if and my clothes. If you say one more word, I will swap the demons out of your face. Come on! <laughs> Under a course. Disappointed me, Jane. I advised you as a friend not to make the same mistake I made. But no, you wouldn't listen. You defied me. Now you have got yourself into the bad book of the MD. Amanda. Amanda, please forgive me. I didn't know what came over me. I am so sorry. I, I think I lost it. You just have to pray that the MD flushes that event off his mind. Yeah. If not, if he remembers you, you are in deep trouble. He will not remember me. Please pray for me. Forgive me, I beg you, please. Does that mean you're forgiving me? I, I have no grudges against you, my dear. It's fine. You need to conduct yourself like a man. It is very possible that he didn't touch her. Can you just shut up and say what you know? Victor, what are you saying? Bonquem is my colleague that I know inside out. It is not possible for him to stay with a woman without touching her. Is that useless daughter of my sister already confided in me that he didn't allow her to sleep the whole night. In fact, that, that idiot was practically on that girl. Even in the morning, when he was already dressed, going to work. He still had the guts to come down from the car when the girl was waving at him. Undressed again and took her again in the morning. One for the road. He finished that girl. Wait a minute, Larry. Are you talking about the same Mr. Punkum that I know? 
Are you making reference to a different person? It, it is possible you used to know him. You don't know him anymore. Because in the last one month or thereabout, a very strange spirit from the very root of hell has possessed Uncle. To the extent he can no longer sleep without a woman. To the best of my knowledge, Bonquem has slept with all the girls working in our company. All of them. This is serious. Um, why don't you get the police and have him arrested? Exactly what I wanted to do. But strangely, everybody is asking me to come down. I don't understand that you forget about the police. Even my very sister that the, the daughter was molested said that I should not get the police involved. I don't know why they are saying that. It is possible that your say this might have confided in her mother that she has fallen in love hey, with hey. sister. Just shut up. How can you say a thing like that? No, how can she fall in love with Pokwell? As what? Do you know who she is? Do you know the family where she came from? No, no, what does... What is it that any woman has seen in Pokwell that will entice her? What is that? And what entices women are different from what entices men. Besides, she couldn't have allowed him to take her if she never liked him. Okay, look at it. He left her and went to work. She was there alone, cooking like you said, eating and dancing. <laughs> she didn't call the police to report that she was held against her wish. Come on, man, it's obvious the girl is in love. You, you know what? Just drink up. And I don't want to discuss anything about this thing anymore. Don't, don't just say a word, please. No, no, if, if I will understand your argument. You said you went to your village in Seme. Then you met a native doctor. And he or she now told you that I was the one that gave your wife money. Then you concluded within yourself that I slept with your wife. Oh, no, 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 can, oh, 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 can you try oh, it? Hey, hey, hey. You concluded that I slept with the wife. You see why I call you a goat? Uh, can you deny it? No, no, can you deny that it did happen? Yeah? Where have I gone wrong? That you cannot leave, you cannot leave that girl my mother married for me. Yeah? Listen, I have already reported you to a shrine in Semen, and that shrine will kill you. Choose the quiet walk. Idiot. You will die in that shrine. Bet me, that shit must kill you. Malaga, leave my house. Uh, no problem, I'm already leaving. I'm already... I am leaving, but let me tell you something. If you fail to report yourself to that shrine in Seme, it will I kill you. you've not said any nonsense before... It will kill you. Look at this idiot. <laughs> What are you looking for, Ozo? No, no, what are you looking for? Well, this same day you stole from the company, she has gone. Gone? Gone where? Eh? Gone where? 
Have I not sat to you? Enabe, you want me to kill you before you go? Have you not killed me already? By sleeping with my wife? Eh? See, her brother came here and took her away. And I swear that her brother will kill you. I'm you. <laughs> Have you come to pay me my money? Uh, yes, I bring it. I bring it. I thought you were disappointed. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I want to do again today. Today I will pay cash. Everything. I'm sorry, yoga manager. I am on red. Mini with you. Huh? Makimu. What do you mean red? Huh? So what, what do you want me to do? Are you asking me? Okay, um, you can come back a day after tomorrow. <laughs> but then I'll be working. I cannot stay one minute in every night without it. Huh. It's part of my life. What's wrong with me now? If you know if the uh, permit me, may I go meet your your friend? Oh. She's not around. She'll be back tomorrow morning. My mother is going there at all. Just give me the letter. I've been told me that just when when you put a hand, I will finish. I'll be okay. Oh, you're a very stupid man. Why are you calling me at this time of the night? My queen, I am calling you because I know your husband is not in town. Okay? I'm already at home. I want you to come out, let us meet, so that we can, we can close the deal. By meeting this night and closing the deal, what do you mean? How do you mean? See, I'm going to be gentle on you. Just accept me. On the absence of your husband, right? I'm going to give you this business. Trust me. Mr. Pongwen, I am not going to come down to your pitiable level and give you what you want. I will equally not make you relevant by telling this escapade to my husband. But I'll tell you one thing. I must get this business. You must have this as well. I am the only person that can... Good for me. Hi. 
What am I gonna do this night, eh? This man is telling me. I think I'll give another company this business. That man is completely useless. I told the fool that I was on red, and he still had the guts to plead with me to allow him use me while on red. <laughs> it's not for you. I just can't believe this. You mean he came back after what happened the other day? But I told you he was going to come back. This is my customer that I know so well. Anyway, you mm -hmm. missed last night. Really? He had wanted to come to you, but I told him you traveled. You would have made a lot of money from him. He was madly in need of it. He gave himself away as someone who has no class. And I don't have need for classless men like him around me. And what do you mean by that? Are you trying to say that you have more class than I do? Please leave my room. I don't want to be insulted this morning. I don't know why you will read insult into this. You said it yourself that he was so stupid to ask a woman on red to allow him into her. Where? Well, it's only useless and classless men make such mistakes. You've made your useless point. Now, leave my room, please. Leave my room now. Go! Leave my room. Welcome to my home, Mrs. Osaze. Thank you, sir. I invited you because I want to hear you firsthand. Okay, sir. It is in my nature to listen to all sides of a story okay. before I draw my conclusions. All right, sir. Why would you give me a proposal and then show my manager a different one? Sir, is that what he told you? Beg your pardon? With all due respect, sir, I am sorry. But your manager is going to run down your company. How do you mean? Sir, earlier today, I called Madam Hacker of Life Ventures. Your said manager made same request on her. I, I don't even know why you're still calling him your manager. <laughs> Mrs. Osage, honestly, you are throwing me off balance. Can, can you talk to me with more details? Okay, sir. Sir. I didn't want to tell you, because I am not in the business of blowing whistles. But, since he has fed you with so much lies, I won't spare him. I don't understand. There must be something going wrong in the company that I don't know about. Now, Mrs. Sosaza, for the purpose of future business relationship, could you please talk to me? I want details. Be more specific. Sir, this is the same proposal I gave to you. It's the same proposal I presented to him. Sir, the problem we're having is not about the proposal. Because he didn't even read it. The problem we're having is because he wants to sleep with me. And I refused, sir. What? Last night. I don't even know how he found out my husband traveled. He called me and made the same request that I should meet him somewhere so we could seal the deal, sir. A man who knows your husband is making passes at you? Sir, this is more than mere passes. He said it bluntly that if I refuse, he will refuse to give me what I want. This is terrible. It's obnoxious. Exactly. It's madness. Unethical and highly unprofessional. How could he do that? Sir, you can call Madame Hacker and find out yourself. He has reduced your previously respected company to a laughing stock to everyone. I'm sorry, sir. Could it be the last night I didn't sleep at all? You said that already, yeah. and I want to know why. Well, my last hope was dashed at the 11th hour. So that stands me all through the night. I didn't sleep at all. Could it possibly be the reason you asked for me this morning? Yeah, I wanted to 
Keep me fast, fast, just to one, so that my head will come down to, to walk. Please. You are not serious. Hey, baby, 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 come down. What? I want to this down. It's not proper. So how can you batch into my face without even the little cutsy of bum bum bum? Bum bum. You are fired. And I give you ten minutes to pick your personal effects and leave this office immediately. Whatever your entitlement is will be sent to you before noon. Mm, you would have told me she's your girl, and then I will not touch her. Like I'll face other girls. Yeah? Sorry, it won't happen again. Let's continue. I will give you two days to vacate the company residence where you live in. I'm going to call in the maintenance people to renovate the place and then repaint the house. It has not gotten to. Oh, it has gotten to that. Because Amanda is taking over from you and she's moving into that house. Uh, oh God, it's. it's yeah. 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 Man. Is this serious? Is this serious? This information from I don't understand. Like, where we yeah, am getting this? Is Congratulations, Amanda. <laughs> On what? I don't understand. Listen to me. Getting to the top is the function of hard work. I remember telling you that before. <laughs> you are not a brand manager in this company. What? That idiot that came to destroy this office just been fired. He's no more with us. Now serious-minded people can settle down and build this company. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> 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 Yes, madam. You called at the right time. So where, where can we meet? Do you know what? Please come with the file. Wherever we're meeting, I'm going to sign it there and then after we finish meeting. Mr. Pomkwem, so you're serious about this? As in, you want me to meet you up? Then after sleeping with you, you give me the business? Uh -uh. Why are you talking like this, eh? You are too direct. This thing was supposed to be casual and, you know, plain, touching ourselves. Now this is the flow. Like. You know, I refuse to make you popular by locking you up. Nah, that would be a cheap publicity to a fool. What's Morgan? Morgan, not bad. What do you call a fool? A fool is even better than you. Yes, because some fools still reason at all. You are a moron. And guess what? I am going to run you out of this town. Trust me. 
Madam, because of this nonsense you just said now, eh, I will show you that I'm in charge. You will never get that that business from this company. Never. Not when I'm here. <gasps> Now let me break this down to you. I have the business delivered to me by your boss himself. Oh yes, sealed, signed and delivered. It may also equally interest you that you have been blacklisted from the employment's board. Stop looking for a business you can run. Because you will not find any job in this town. And if by any chance you start a business, oh yes, you cannot find someone to employ. Now get out and then listen to me. This should be the last time you call this number. Idiot. Moron. Can you imagine? to see you on the ground finally. You're telling me. Who are you going to blame now? Me or yourself? Well, I came here because the MD told me he gave you 10 minutes to pick whatever thing that is yours in this office and leave. And 10 minutes is already expired. The MD has remitted what, whatever you are entitled to in your account in my presence and if you shake your phone it's there so get out of this office before I call in the police me now to confirm the appointment. He said he's on his way to Abuja and he will write me officially when he returns. <laughs> I am so excited how everything has turned out. <laughs> Amanda, success comes to those who work hard towards yes. it. I'm sure you will run that office better than that corporate he goes. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Um, I, well, well, I, I heard something. I thought I heard something. All of a sudden, you are deaf and dumb. Did I hear anything? Am I talking to myself? I hear corporate he got. Who said it? You don't need a prophet to tell you that your problem is not ordinary. Ah. You need to go to your village and trace the root of your problem. Mm. That is what I would do if I were you. You need help. T.B. Joshua. Hmm? Helen Nkume. Prophet woman. Highly prophetic. Let me tell you in this office. I'm warning you for the last time. from office to office looking for helpless women to intimidate. Idiot. <coughs> does he look like he needs the job? He does not look like someone who needs it. Please, let's forget okay. about him. Let's I am just you. excited! Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. How may I help you? Yes, I want to see the MD. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, sir. He told me you have been relieved of your duties and he has paid you off. He left a standing order that I should call the police and get you arrested for lodging if cited anywhere around these premises. 
I'm not doing that yet, sir, for old time's sake. Very good of you. For that old time's sake, please, allow me go in and see him, okay? I will never forget. Please. You have to call him on phone and tell him that, sir. I've called him more than ten times. He's not picking. And I know why. Allow me go in and see him. It will be easier when I go in. Um, the MD left for Abuja and he will not be back until next week. It's not possible because he just left my office. Ah, he left for the airport from your office. I'm sorry sir, you have to go now. I already have explanation to give. Again, the instruction given to me by my boss. I'm sorry sir, you have to go before you see the cops. Thanks sir. very hard to believe. Oh. What is happening to your money? How am I supposed to know? Well, I'm working hard, very hard. Uh, and I am equally aware that your MD pays you every month. How come you don't have any savings anywhere when you don't even have a wife? And me and you know too well that you are not catching for any child anywhere. All I know is that something is wrong with me. And it has been on for quite a long time now. So that thing that has been happening has affected my life and my finances. Oh, if you knew all this while that something is wrong with you, why didn't you find a solution to solving it than allowing it to this point where everything has crashed? Do I hear you say crashed? What? Are you using that language crash for me? Is it me you're talking to? I'm sorry. I'm sorry now. The best. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm saying. Is you can still find the bearings of your life with this two million naira. You just have to sit back and plan. With this two million naira, you can pick back the broken pieces of your life. Maybe, you. maybe two million naira means something to you. For me, it means nothing. When I handle this, maybe we'll do one or two things. The money's gone. Who could that be? Maybe the girl I invited. Have you lost it completely? You are inviting a babe the same night you lost your job? Shut up, woman. I should kill myself because I lost my job. Hi! Yeah? I cannot sleep with a girl because I lost my job. Is it that bad? Ha! Come in, the small gate is open. For a night. You know the standard. You pay to Madame Connell through debit card. But since you said you're paying cash, you have to pay me now so I can give him the money before he leaves. That's the standard. This is unbelievable. You mean you call the whole company to supply you a whole? How? Excuse me, sir. We do respect. Mind your language. Our girls, they are not her. They are called girls, professionals, and highly trained. Will you kill yourself in explaining all this to to Tobias? He's my friend, and uh, I'll be managing him. And I keep managing him. It's complete, sir. Uh, uh, make sure you come in the morning to pick her up. Sure, babe. 
I'll pick you up by 6.30. Sister, no, you would have come at 4 a.m. I just paid uh, 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 20,000. 20, when, 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 when do you think? How many times would you think uh, I will do all this, uh, this machine to complete my money? Are you doing it? Call me 11 o'clock, my, my friend. You know, I'm back as a poor man. What do you put on your baby? Tobe? You can do it through glasses. Go to the other room now. Sleep. I'll see you by 12 o'clock. Yeah? In the morning, just enter the kitchen. One minute and eat. I could have called Mark. Huh? Remember to lock the gate. I am super excited. I mean, this is still surprising to me. I never saw it coming. Yeah. Yes, I prayed for a promotion, but I never knew it would be this big. <laughs> I mean, I still cannot believe that I, Amanda, am the brand manager in a company as big as ours. <laughs> I mean, I, it can only be God. Yeah. I never saw it coming, honestly. I mean, I thank God for everything. <laughs> that is why I've called you, my friends, yeah. to celebrate with me. <laughs> Please, make do with what I have. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to be the one saddled with the responsibility of calling this toast. I have said it time and time again that it pays to work hard. Yes. Yeah. You know, promotion, I agree, is divine. But those who seek to be promoted must work hard in their various places of work. Sure. We are here this night because our Amanda just got promoted <laughs> beyond her expectation. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and we are here to celebrate as her family and friends. Yes. Okay. I am so certain that we all will agree that the promotion came because she worked hard. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so if only you could lift your glasses. Sure. Mm -hmm. okay. I would like to call this toast. You know, as we leave these glasses this night, I am praying that good things will always come our ways. Amen. Amen. As we are here this night celebrating Amanda and her success, we all shall have reasons to celebrate our successes. Amen. That which we seek in our hearts that is so beautiful will definitely come to us. Amen. Amen. A toast for success. A toast. A toast for success.
about booking in advance for tonight. Oh. Yeah. But don't later, Madam Connect now. This is my house. Okay? Yeah. I'll see to that. Yeah. Okay, I'll come see you when you're home. Ha. I'm home already. I'm not going to anywhere again. I'm even thinking that when you come you're gonna cook for me. Ah, I don't cook my dear. Ha. I play. Only play. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, I will see you later, okay? It's okay baby. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> All right, bye bye. <laughs> Else. That man is hot. My dear, I am tired. I need to go and sleep. That is an amazing. <laughs> Huge guys like that, like, like that doesn't do much. So ha. please say what you know, okay? I'm so tired. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go. Monica of Madame Connect. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> I never even drink anything, you don't know, they shout. Yeah, I don't give I don't give I don't give This evening I'll drink all the drinkables and wait for you. you see you about today. <laughs> Mr. Adeliki, we are here on the orders of Chief Liu, the MD of Migrants Group of Companies. My own company? Okay, so what are you going to do? We are a maintenance uh, company and we are here on the orders of the Chief uh, to change all the locks and also repair everything that might have damage in the house and then uh, repent it also. Yes, he said that the new manager is moving in on Monday. I, I, I've not reported any matter of uh, damaged or repair of things in my, my, my place. I just brought somebody that will coming to cook, cook food for me this, this evening in my house. With all due respect, sir, that is none of my business. Yes, we are here to do our work and you're already delaying us. Please, sir. I come out, what problem? Pack your things at once and leave. <laughs> uh, Don't dare me to call in the police, sir. Please. You call police. Leave at once, please. So we can continue with what we came here to do. Are you telling me that a man born of a woman will wake up one morning and fire my son? Mbano. It won't happen. Papa, the man did not just wake up and fire me. I committed something. Huh? Yes. I committed something. That's why he fired me. And now this is why I'm home here. Eh? 
I know very well, well convinced that something is wrong somewhere. No, there is nothing wrong with you. You are healthy. What, what is it that is wrong with you? There is I, nothing wrong with you. I don't just want us to begin to argue this thing. I own my body. I know how it is. Once it comes like this, like fire, I must stay with the woman. Or I'll be restless throughout the day, throughout the night. That no moment I will not get myself. Obako, are you listening to him? Do I have any reason to listen to him? I thought you said I was a madman. Oh, how now will you expect a madman to listen to him? Uncle, please, 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 help me if you can, please. I'm in trouble. Once it comes like fire like this, everywhere like this, I don't understand. I am your uncle. I know things of this life better than you do. 26 years ago, precisely when you were in junior secondary, you raped the only daughter of Madoka on her way to the stream, true or false. Uh, Obako, why are you bringing up this issue that was buried more than 20 years ago? Huh? My son has said time and time again that he did not rape the girl. Why are you? Enebelu, listen. If you will not allow me to handle this matter my own way, I will leave your house and go back to my home. Uh, uh, please, Uncle, don't go, don't go. Please help me. Please help me. I, I know, I know my body, please. My body, I, it comes like a wildfire. Uh, and in fact, I'm beginning to see you as somebody who have the solution. But Uncle, why do you raise that issue now, that old matter? I ask you a question. You did not answer my question. You raped that girl, true or false? Did you hear his question? Uh, yes, I raped her. Huh? As of then, she was not a virgin. Everything is like, was like uh, do a carriage way. Enter and hey. pium, pium. that is not the issue. The issue is you raped the girl and denied. So was that why I lost control? Enebelu. When I told you, you said I was a madman. Listen, Madoka reported that case to the gods. To name by the God of justice. And I am sure that the gods have risen with their judgment. Nempa, the God that kills a man when his life is sweet. Uh, is that the plan to kill me when my life is so sweet to me? Huh? Enebelu. Nempa has waited for 26 good years just for him to rise to the peak of his life. Then it will come and kill you. Kill him. We have to go to Madoka immediately. If not, I see you going mad. <laughs> God forbid, my son will not go mad. This, this fetish issue, I don't, I don't believe in this fetish Papa, thing. Eh? Papa, let me get my body. No, 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 no. If I cross that, you go there, you're, not, you're going to see me in the road around with pants. Don't call them fetish. They are laid down ordinance by our forebears. They are more effective than what the white man brought with here. We just have to hurry to Madoka's house before your son goes mad. Hey, is the girl still there? Hey. <coughs> Madoka, you have no right to take my son to the Shirai. Your daughter at the time of the said rape was never a virgin. My son here confirms that, and I believe him. Why destroy him for that? I don't believe you are shouting for nothing. That is, you are just making unnecessary noise. Yes. 
Your said son is passing through an experience, and I want to let you know that that experience is just a mere uh, partial loss of control over libido, which comes and goes. Listen to me. Very, very soon, it will metamorphose into permanent, in fact, complete loss of control, which is the same thing as madness. <coughs> It is your son. It is your son that we hey, don't hey, have. Hey, Did you hear what he Keep said? Quiet. If you don't shut your mouth and allow me to handle this issue, I will leave this place. Hey, hey, hey. Uncle, please. I have pleaded with you before. Please. Please. This is my problem. I'm the one wearing the shoe. I know where he pinches me. Please. See, I've been blacklisted among the employees. I can't get a job anywhere. Please help me. Do not leave it. Please. It's okay. That daughter of mine is still unmarried. Still unmarried. Although she has gotten a son, a son of 26 years, resulting from that rape. Ah! Do you mean I have a son? You don't have a son. You say it's from the rape. I said you don't have a son here because you did not pay the bride price of my daughter. You didn't. So he is my son. Of course, he has just graduated from the university as a medical doctor. Hey! Do you hear him? The my son is the doctor. Hey, keep quiet and stop talking like a fool. You just said it now. Listen, we have tradition in this land. You did not pay the bride price of that girl. So that child belongs to her father. My son. Uh, uh, but didn't you hear when he confirmed that the son and the said pregnancy came out of the rape? The rape that was denied. Listen, I will never be part of evil. I will never be part of evil. Madoka, please, what do we do to solve this problem? <clears throat> yes, it is said that there are a lot of things in human life that the physical eyes cannot see. Yes. But we must feel it. I heard you. I'm not saying you are not existing. I've not said so, but I heard you. Now Thank listen you. to me, let me respond. First and foremost, he has to marry my daughter. Yes. Yes. Because the act of rape that put my daughter in a family way prevented her from getting married till death. So before anything, he has to marry my daughter. Then after that, we can we can now think about the next step, maybe seeking the faces of the gods, going to the shrine to say prayers for healing or something. I don't know. But first and foremost, he has to marry my daughter. No problem. Can I ask the question? There is no need for that. We have had you, Madoka. Before, eh? I told you by the time I raped this girl, eh? she was already older than mine. Eh? And yeah. you raped her? Rape is ordinary rape. You denied it? When I asked you as a father, you insisted that they were lying against you. Why own up now that your life has crashed? Huh? Look. Be prepared to marry that girl. She is your wife, and you must marry her. That is fine now. I just told you that she was older than me. Huh? I can't marry her. Why are you talking as if you have a choice? Cho choice. <laughs> Monica of Modern Connect. <laughs> How far you are you are highly connected?
Uh, no, no, you, you won't believe it. Something came up. I have to rush down to the village. As I speak to you now, I'm in the village, you know, trying to solve one or two problems. Eh? Don't try it. You, you want to tell me that what I gave you last night, you, you're not satisfied? Uh, don't allow any man go close to that, you know. Please. It's a special property for me. <laughs> no problem. Lock up and wait for me. Uh -huh. We'll make a video call, no problem. If I, babe, you are the one I want to marry. You are my class. Uh, send your account number, no problem. I'll wear the money. That's network in our village. No problem. Okay, now. <laughs> oh, sweet girl, beautiful girl. All right. <laughs> you say the useless life your, your, your son is living. Not even one block molded in his name. Oh God, in a modern block, no, no, in, in, in any man. Is it because of the court now? That red man, he told you leave, leave it. Who told you I'm a block, do I look like a block molder? <laughs> Certainly not. If I want to build a house, I bring a company that mold, fix the house. They'll fix a beautiful house for me. I'm molding block, what, what am I doing molding block? You know what, Namde? Hey, 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 oh God, my papa. No, yet, I was on that name. Eddie. Open a bond, I mean, Eddie now. If you do a bond, not a business. Let me tell you something. My name is not Namdi. My name is Okwe. All right? And I, I stand by that. Don't call me. If you want to address me, address me well. Can you give me one now? Then now. I'm going to be very good. At the middle of Omodinqua Road, you denied the name I gave you. Eh? You know what? Solve your problems yourself. It's your work. Let's go out of here. As if you, just as if you read my mind. Let's go. I may even put myself in trouble. So that the good woman can carry old computer head and when they were going to organize old woman for me. So that if I, if I walk on the streets with that girl, people will ask me, Ah, is that your elder sister? I don't know why. All these guys are the carry fine, fine babes like this. If you say, I really don't know. Really, really. What is the problem? Huh? So you talk I'm guess we and I'll just end up left like this. Hi! Wow. I will go on. Daddy. that you really have a problem. Pingwell. The only solution is what Ichi Maduka said. That you must marry the woman you defied. Yeah. And thereafter, go to the shrine for the prayers. I cannot ma marry him calling now. She's already a woman. <laughs> what is the problem? What? Uh, speak up! Speak! Baba! <coughs> huh? I'm finished. Hey! Baba. What? Is, what? Is, what? I agree, I agree. I agree. I'm ready, I'm ready. Mm. NK. I don't know where to start from. But first of all, I am sorry. I swear to God, I never need to resort like this. You know, I was only exhibiting the youthful exuberance as a young man. I never know. I never know. I was shooting myself on the leg. Please. But I want to ask you one question. 
shit, Oscar. Please. Please marry me. Please. I know it's hard for you, but please, can you still take me as your husband? Because I'm ready to marry you, please. Please stand up. As you can see, I've already moved on with my life. I didn't know my father reported you anyway. He did. He did. Please. Can you stand up? I will. I will. Okay. If this marriage will solve your problem. Yes. Then I'll marry you. Oh. Shinek Godo. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I yeah. actually don't want to be anybody's <sighs> problem. Be okay. Nandi. Nandi. It really hurts me. I know, I know, I know. And that is why I have come, so that all these problems will stop. We could recover all we have lost. Come on, my love. It's okay. Just give me a smile, manage. Give me a smile. Please. <laughs> so for Let's go inside. To where? No. No. Come on, go please. Go. Go, let's go. It dawned on us finally that there is no escape route. Nempa, the god of justice, has risen against my son. The reason is to bring justice to the molested woman. Mm. That is wow. why we have come with all the traditional requirements that will make a woman a wife. Mm. Unkolika is your daughter. Mm. But God moved ahead of us to make her our wife. Please, grant us this request. <laughs> Ubaku. Mm. There is no need for all this. You don't have to ask questions about that. You know, I hold you in a very high esteem. Yes. And there is nothing you want from me you cannot get. <laughs> as long as I have that and within my reach. If I never wanted to release my daughter to your family, I wouldn't have accepted all the items you brought. Um, I'm going to I'm going to Uh, okay, I, I... So, um, uh -huh. it's okay. Mm. Uh, uh -huh. Why you called me? Uh, yes, I did. And you know why I called you. He has come, finally. With his father. His uncle, they have come to fulfill yes. the, the traditional requirements that will make you his wife. So the next thing now is, if you can say yes before me, I will bless the marriage here and now. Father, I believe God allowed all that happened for a purpose. He gave me a son who is already a blessing, if not for anything else, for the sake of our son. I accept to be his wife. Hey! Of your mouth.
sir. Everything you saw in that letter was exactly what happened, the way I explained it, sir. I was cursed from my shrine. And the aim was to bring justice to her. And uh, you can see I'm not, I'm not married, sir. I'm married to my wife. And uh, I have changed my name. It's no longer Pompwem. My name now is Namde Nebel. Not Pompwem. I'm even surprised, God forbid, whether that name was responsible for all these iniquities. So I beg, if only you would take me back to your company. I promise to make difference, very perfect difference. For all the departments, I committed atrocities, iniquities. I'll try and bring better results in this company, sir. It's all right, sir. Well, let me start by saying, Madam, welcome to my humble abode. Thank you very much, sir. Well, I must say, congratulations Thank to you. the new couple in town. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I am happy that you have solved your problems. And um, concerning the job you lost, I will give you one that is better than that. Wow. Yes, I have always known you to be forceful and very reliable despite all the problems you had. You are going to manage the new branch we are opening in Norwich. Oh. Thank you very much, sir. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Uh, I know you will do well there. Uh, once again, congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. I will never disappoint you, sir. Oh. Never. I'm now a married man. <laughs> no problem. Even if anything, we will have women there. It's not my business. I've come to work. That's nice. Congratulations one more time. Thank you. Congratulations. Sir, thank you. 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 There is nothing to worry about In this office, we will work together If you scratch my back, I will scratch your own I am your guy on top, because man must be on top <laughs>